the people responsible for circulating this new naira note have actually not done a good job. Because if a good job has been done by now, the new naira note would have dominated everywhere. But what you have, you have the reverse. You go to uh, the ATM, the old naira uh, is still being discussed. You go into the banking hall, you get that old paid with the old naira note, you go to market, you really see the new note. So um, for, 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 for a transaction that ought to have a deadline of 31st, and today it's 19, and we are still talking about the naira note being more in circulation than the, sorry, the old note being more in circulation than the new note, then definitely we just have to tinker with that one. So let's, talk, uh, so let's talk about why that is the case. From, from your perspective, Sorry? let's talk about that for a moment. From your perspective, why, okay. are, why are the new notes not in wide circulation? Yes, well, uh, there might be some, I don't know, I don't know where the problem is from, but we all know that central bank should be responsible, you know, for the circulation of the new notes through the bank. So if the new note has been printed and central bank believes that they have been printed in adequate quantity so why are they not getting to the bank so if they are getting to the bank and the banks are holding them so it's left for the central bank now to sanction or to deal with any bank that holds it without actually paying it out to the uh, to the banking public so there might be multiple reasons uh, maybe uh the currency is not enough in supply or the bank are deliberately holding it could this just be employed by the cbn to ensure we don't have enough of the new notes in circulation so that nigerians will not feel the need a, a compulsion to uh to handle physical cash and make payments using them rather seek out these alternate methods mobile apps pos atms and the rest of it no that's you know you know you know that that's uh, that's not a strategy. That can be sustainable because you still have, like I told you earlier, you still have a good number of persons that are outside the banking window. They are not yet in the basket. And this, uh, this is crowd that you cannot just bring in within a space of two months. So CBN should not even uh, devise that strategy with a view to forcing people uh, into this uh, maybe cashless and all the rest. You understand? They should have a more pragmatic and a more sustainable strategy of ensuring that at least the economy becomes cashless, but not as this means. You said you are changing notes, you gave yourself deadline, and all of a sudden you are not distributing these new notes to the bank. The banks are still paying all notes, and that effect is pressuring on us, and nobody even knows what you are doing. And you think that will make people to start using alternate uh, channels for settlement of fields because they cannot access the new? It can't work. Hello, 913. Hello, Dayo. You're welcome. Go on. You see, the CBN is not on ground when it concerns the banking sector. CBN is not on ground. I think I should have expected CBN to have their desk in every bank, monitoring proceedings and knowing what goes in and out of the bank. But that seems not to be the case. But if you if you, well, if, you, if, you, if you if you if you if you listen to the interview from the start and my guest earlier on, even if the CBN does not have a desk at every branch of every bank across the country, the bank in the banking industry is so tightly regulated that the CBN knows every amount, every naira note that's printed, right, knows okay, every okay, bank okay. that has it, knows I how much it is like bossed every okay. single time. If that is then the case. It doesn't mean CBN itself is lying to us. It doesn't mean CBN is a, is a lie, it's economical with the truth. There must be something we are supposed to, we are not, we have not known concerning what CBN, what, what do they have to achieve in telling us lies? You see, the banking sector is supposed to be a very highly regulated sector. And uh, the, you realize that, uh, okay, I don't want to dive into that, what is happening between the CBN governor and the, the DSS. We don't even know the truth be, be behind what is going on. If that is what is affecting the banking sector, then they should come out and tell us the truth. Dio, we don't understand where we are going to. The, 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 this money we are talking about, the financial industry, is the industry that controls 
the livelihood of every human being in a country. And if things that are done in this particular sector is in shady condition, what, what would the common man do? What would the common man do if they want to, if they want to uh, extend the deadline? Fine and good. Let them come out and extend it. But don't look at... Don't, don't bamboozle Nigerians and think you can just blame the bank.